guys welcome back so for today's video I'm using Tanashi 100% human hair I ordered three bundles and a closure in their Indian loose deep wave and the inches are 22 22 22 with an 18 inch closure so moving the bundles to the side for right now we're gonna go ahead and start with the closure I'm gonna be bleaching the knots on this closure right now I'm showing you guys the closure fresh at the package very nice bouncy and soft the materials that I'm gonna need for this part is B2W bleach um, 30 volume developer a standard mixing bowl and a standard dyeing brush right now I'm just pouring half of the bleach packet into the mixing bowl you really only need half of the packet or probably even less um, just to bleach a closure now I'm just pouring three tabs of that 30 developer into my bleach this is kind of how I measured it instead of just pouring a whole bunch at once so I can add more if needed While mixing those two together, I ended up adding more developer to get that thick paste that I really wanted. And now that I have it, it should end up like this. The consistency should not be falling off the brush at all. And now we're going to go ahead and apply it to the closure. The right way to do this is spreading it not too harshly so that it doesn't bleed through the knots and bleaches your actual hair. Um, be really really light handed with this part, but still get it all around to where you need it to be and This is how my closure looks when I'm done. I'm gonna let it sit for 20 minutes and then right after the time is up, I'm going to bring it to the sink and rinse it out with some warm water. And here you guys can see how bleached the knots are now. And when I part it, you can also tell a little bit better. Now I'm using my L'Oreal Evercream Sulfate Free Shampoo to just get the rest of that bleach off the closure. Upon rinsing that out, I'm using my Daily Defense Moisturizing Conditioner, also sulfate free, just to top off the shampoo. Now that the closure is rinsed, I really wanted to show you guys the curl pattern of this hair. Um, it literally stayed the same, like, throughout the bleach, throughout the shampoo conditioner. It's beautiful, and all the bundles remain the same as well. And you can also see at the top, um, the roots are bleached as well. So before we continue the rest of the dyeing process, I just wanted to show you guys the bundle straight out the package. Just as beautiful as the closure. So soft. I love this hair, you guys. Again, it's 100% virgin human hair. To achieve this color, I used the L'Oreal High Color Highlights Hair Dye in the color Magenta. I did use all four um, packages of hair dye. It was all necessary for the amount of hair that I had. And of course, the same 30 volume developer and a bigger dyeing brush this time. So my method for this was just using one tube of dye per bundle and the last one for the closure. So I'm just squeezing out the first tube to dye the first bundle. And then as far as the developer, I didn't measure them in the cap as I did before. Being that the dye is a thicker consistency than the bleach powder was, I knew that I would need more developer anyway, so I just poured it and added on until I got the paste that I needed. Now, I personally did not separate the bundles before dyeing them because I knew that I wanted like a mixture of black and burgundy together, so I really didn't mind um, dyeing the bundles in the seal itself. Um, so yeah, I'm just starting at the bottom of the hair. If you've dyed hair before, you know the drill. Start at the bottom and just work your way to the top and just saturate the hair in as much dye as you can. And I'm using this whole first tube of dye to dye this first bundle. Yeah. 
and I'm repeating the same process for each bundle. So now I'm on my last tube of dye and I'm about to dye the closure. I'm not dyeing this closure all the way up to the roots. I still want the roots to be black with the burgundy peeking out from the roots. Although I did make a mistake and not put like a plastic bag down underneath the closure or just something, whether it be like a paper towel or whatever, because the knots underneath did become red when I was done. You guys will see at the end, but it did become red a little bit, but thank God the middle of the closure still remained bleach. That is where my part was anyway. I have a middle part. So everything worked out in the end, but I did want to just um, share that with you guys. You know, mistakes happen when dyeing hair. I definitely <laughs> should have put something down, realizing that I was dyeing hair on the same plastic the whole time but you know still everything still came together very beautiful in the end right now i'm just taking the three bundles that are already dyed and i'm using the extra dye that was left over and i'm just gonna saturate the rest of the hair um in that dye you know parts that i might have missed or anything just to not waste any product and now i'm gonna let it process for approximately 35 to 40 minutes and this is the end result you guys this is the very next day i let the hair sit and air dry it came out so nice you see the part in the middle it's still bleached so i'm perfectly okay with that um and that bundle over here i just took it out to see what the color really looked like but i'm super satisfied if you guys like this video please give it a big thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe i will see you guys in my next video bye guys